So I'm going to take you step by step on how to set up your Samsung Galaxy Watch 8 or 8 Classic. Now you do need to have a phone next to you. Now if it's a Samsung phone then it should come pre-installed with a Samsung wearable app. If you have a non-Samsung Android phone then you can go ahead and download the Galaxy wearable app from the Google Play Store and launch it. Now when you turn on the watch for the first time which is by long pressing this button this is the first screen you're going to see okay so let's set it up so the first thing you have to do is select your language and there are languages here and there's going to be more when you tap on the plus symbol okay so for me since it's that's english i'm gonna just select english it's gonna ask me if i'm sure i want to continue in english i'll click on the check mark and it's gonna set up my english uh, starting guide and then it's gonna ask for my country or region now you can pick the closest thing to your own region from this list. So for me, I'll just pick Jamaica and then I'm going to restart my watch. So once the watch restarts, you're going to see the welcome screen. And there's going to be a model code there. And then it's going to check for pairing pop-up. It's going to tell you to check for a pairing pop-up on your Samsung Galaxy phone. So I'm going to tap on start and uh, sort of spook this. And then you can see it's already detected the watch. Okay. Now this code and this code have to match. And if they match, you can tap on confirm on your phone. And then it's going to tell you to continue the setup on the phone. Okay, now from here, you have to agree to uh, end user license agreement and the Galaxy wearable privacy notice and then hit continue. And then it's going to get ready to connect. It says this might take a few minutes, so just be patient. And it's going to now start grabbing things like the Google account information from the phone into the watch. So during this process, you might even get some notifications telling you that a new device has signed into your Samsung account and your Google account. So it's going to ask you which account you want to use. So if you want, if you have more than one Google account on your phone, you can choose another account and choose a different one. For me, I want to use this one. So I'll just tap on continue as that. I'll authenticate that with a password and it should now sign me into my Google account on the watch. So once that's done, of course, you have to read and agree to the terms of service. So there's some uh, connection going on there. And then next, you'll have this page where you might want to set up uh, Google Assistant, now Gemini. So I'll just tap on next. And then it's going to ask you if you want to go hands free with Hey Google and all that. Now for me, I'm just going to skip that for now because I can set that up later. And then at this point, uh, you're going to see some apps that your watch will recommend for you to get installed automatically. This is obviously dependent on what apps you have on your phone. So you can either skip this part or just hit continue. And then you have your automatic watch backup information there. And then it's basically just step by step. And now it's checking for a uh, smart switch. So it's going to tell me smart switch will use this permission. So you have to allow those permissions so that smart switch can check if you have a backup. Now for me, I already have a backup, which I had previously. Now, if you want to, you can go ahead and restore the old backup that you had, maybe from a previous watch or from this very watch, or you can set up as a new watch. Now, depending on what you want, really, this is uh, at this point, it's really up to you. So for me, since I'm this is, this is a step-by-step -step video for beginners, I'm going to set up as a new watch. So at this point, now you have a select quick button action. So I'm going to select remind me later and then you have your wearing preference. I'm going to go for the left hand side 
left hand wrist because i like to wear my watch on my left hand if you prefer the right wrist then you can just select that and then tap on next you want to track the stress on your vascular system tap on next just basically some information so you just hit next and next and next and next and then it should finish up the setup process like it says this might take a few minutes so just be patient and it now says i am all set and there is my galaxy watch 8 classic set up and ready to go okay so that's it so this is the interface this is how you'll be accessing the watch you can toggle with the settings from here you can change watch faces tiles and whatnot but the watch is still starting so let's just give it another moment or two for it to finish starting up so once it's done it should have the same watch face as the one you're seeing here okay there you go now if you want to you can start a tour of your watch for me i'll just skip that and get right into my watch face so that is my galaxy watch 8 and that's how to set it up for beginners thanks for watching if you have any comments or questions feel free to talk to us in the comment section and if you found this useful don't forget to leave a like possibly also subscribe for more tips and i will talk to you in the next one good luck